Praise the living God. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless Almighty God, Esther and Jehovah. We thank God for another beautiful day, another glorious day. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you all. I greet you all, my dear brothers and sisters. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you for tuning in. We bless the name on we bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. Our God is good. We thank God, we thank God, we thank God for waking us up to see another blessed day, to see our beloved family. <laughs> we are grateful to Almighty God. He's worthy, He's mighty, He's excellent, He's wonderful. So, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Please, I would like to have a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father. Asians of this. Father, we give you all the glory of the honor and the praise of Almighty God. Father, I'm going to thank you for all my dear brothers and sisters worldwide, Almighty God. Thank you for waking us up to see another blessed day. Father, you are worthy, you are mighty, you are excellent, you are wonderful. Father God, we thank you for this hour, this moment, Almighty God. That, he, that you have given to me right now to come and deliver your word to your son, to your daughter, so my God, Father, to myself, Father, speak to each and every one of us, oh Lord. Father, help us to hear you, hear your word that coming from your throne room directly to our heart, to our spirit, oh Lord, my Father, and give us the grace to put your word in practice, oh Lord. Almighty God, come and have your way in the name of Jesus, my Father. I decree I decree, Holy Spirit of God, I decree you increase in me, anoint my voice, anoint my lips, speak through me, use my mouth to be the mouth of your oracles that you will use to speak to your sons or to your daughters, right now, Father, to myself, in the name of Jesus, my Father, come and have you, we let your name be Lord, be glorified in Jesus' name, Father. Any power that want to distract us, that want to steal from your word from us, and for us not to put your word in person, or for us not to remember what you have spoken to us, Father. Let those power and almighty God, Father, let them be bound in the name of Jesus. When I cast them out of our lives in Jesus' name. When I come and have your way, speak to us, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. We thank God for God. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ, each and every one of us right now. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord of Jesus Christ, in this program right now. May the Lord bless all of us in Jesus' name. We thank God for God. He's worthy, He's mighty, He's mighty, He's excellent. Mighty God brought you and I from a mighty long way, from a mighty long way. Hallelujah. We bless God for God. We thank God for God. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be worshipped. He's worthy to be adored. He's worthy to be magnified. I thank God. I thank God for this hour. I thank God for this, this hour, this moment right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. We are going to go to the word of the Lord, the word of God that he has prayed in place in my heart to come and deliver to you, to myself, my dear brothers and sisters, we are in the, we are in the race. We will get there by the grace of God. We will get there. Uh, what a day that day will be for you and for me that almighty God will open that poly gate for you and I to come into, into, into his kingdom to come and live with him from everlasting to everlasting. What a joy. What a day that day will be for you and I. I know you and I, we are yearning to see that day. We are thirsty, hungry to see that blessing for day. That that poly gate we open for you, we open for me. Hallelujah. That we see our Father, Almighty God. He will say, come in, my, my daughter. Come in, my, my son. Come on, sit with me. Enjoy with me from everlasting to everlasting. We are looking for that day we are looking forward to for that day we are looking forward you know i just thank god for god i bless the name of the lord i thank god for giving us another day another chance again giving us another chance to 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 draw closer to him loving him more knowing him more hallelujah to the lamb of god amen so um the po the topic of today uh, all these things will I give you. All these things will I give you. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. We, we are going to talk about the, the what 
what the enemy of your soul, what the enemy of my soul wants from you and I. Why? What he wants from you and I. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We are going to go to the word of the Lord and see what he wants from you and I, why he wants that, why, why he wants that thing from you and I. That, that what he wants from you and I is precious to him. And what he wants from you and I is precious to Father God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. So hallelujah to the Lamb of God, the enemy of your soul, the enemy of my soul. You might be there, you will say to yourself right now that uh, I don't have enemy. I don't have enemy. You might be saying, if you say to yourself, uh, what she's saying, I don't have enemy. That means that the Satan, the enemy of all humanity, he has kept you, he has kept you in his cage of spiritual blindness. For you not to know that he's existing, for you not to know that he's alive, he's here, he's, <laughs> he's here, he's existing. Hallelujah to the Lord. If, the, if God Almighty told you in his word, in, my, in his word, that the enemy of your soul or my soul, seek him for who he may devour. The enemy of your soul or my soul, what he wants, he wants you and I to worship him. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. God Almighty, we give us the grace to overcome our enemies in Jesus' name. So, the enemy of your soul, the enemy of my soul, told our lovely Jesus. The, the same thing that he wants Lord Jesus Christ to do, the same thing he wants you and I to do, every moment of the day, he's seeking for you and I to worship him. That is why he brought a rebellion in the heaven. That is the reason. He wants everyone, the angels, the, the, everyone to worship him as God, as the creator. That, he, that is what he wants. And he's still seeking it to the thing our Lord Jesus Christ will come and take all of us home. So you and I should not fall into his uh, bedding. That he wants you and I to fall and worship him. We should not do it. That is what he wants from me and I to be the one uh, everyone we worship. You and I must make up our mind. I'm not going to worship the Satan. I'm not going to worship the devil. The devil, the Satan, he's your enemy, he's my enemy. He wants you and I to worship. He doesn't want you and I to worship God. He knows that why God created you and I is for you and I to worship him. That is, the, that is the duty you and I have on this earth. That is why he created you and I. He brought you and I to this earth to come and what? To worship him, to praise him. But the enemy wants to, to, to stay here, still that, that worship that we're supposed to render to our Father God. He wants us to, he wants to see that worship from us, not to worship Father God, but to worship him. You might be saying, I'm not worshiping the enemy. I'm not bowed down to the enemy. But are you really worshiping God? Are you really worshiping God in the spirit and in the truth? Or you are worshiping the enemy in many, in many ways. You might be worshiping the enemy. You think you are not worshiping the enemy. Praise Master Jesus. Are you worshiping? Uh, the, 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 the enemy of your soul brought you Many things for you to do. Busy, 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 busy. You don't have God. You don't have that time to worship your father, almighty God. So what are you doing? You are worshiping the enemy. That is what he wants. For you to worship him in those things that, that you will neglect your father. You will neglect father God not to worship him. 
He will bring something to you, maybe problem or one thing and another for you to focus on that, those things. Instead of you to worship God, you start worshiping those things. You start murmuring. You start complaining that now you don't have time to worship Father God. He might bring a money to you. You just love money. You are seeking after money, money, money. You don't even have time to worship God. You don't even have time to join the, the brethren to worship God. You are worshiping the enemy. You might be worshiping the enemy one way and another. You might be gossiping. You are worshiping the enemy. You are lying. You say you are not you are not worshiping the enemy. That is what he wants you for you and I to be worshiping him. Because when you are lying, when you are lying, you are worshiping. That is Father Lord Jesus Christ said, the enemy of your soul, Satan is the father of lies. Or liar. He's the father of lies. So when you are lying, you are worshiping him as a child of God. When I'm lying, I, even though I said I'm a child of God, I'm worshiping the enemy. So you and I must know, for you, to, for you and I to worship the enemy is for you and I disobeying what Father God said you and I should do. So if you and I, we are not doing what Father God said we should do, you like, you know it or not, automatically you are worshiping the enemy. If you are the one you are there, you said, I don't worship the enemy. I don't, I don't believe any, I don't believe a Satan. I don't believe if Satan exists. I don't, I don't, I don't believe that a Satan exists. You don't all you said you are free takers. You are if you are not for Jesus. It was, even though you said you are not worshiping the enemy, Satan, automatically you are worshiping him. It's two kings reigning. The king of, the, and of this earth. There's, Jesus calls Satan the king of this, uh, this earth. Jesus Christ is the king of all kings. So if you are not worshiping King Jesus, automatically you are worshiping the Satan. You might say, I'm neutral. There is no, no, no neutral in the spiritual realm. Praise Master Jesus. So as Almighty God created you, he created me for you and I to worship him. The enemy of your soul, the enemy of my soul, wants you and I to worship him. He wants you and I to bow down and worship him. He told Jesus, I would like us to turn to the book of uh, Matthew 4.4. 4. Let us read the, the book of uh, Matthew chapter 4. And praise Master Jesus. Matthew chapter 4, uh, 9 to, sorry, 9 to, verse 9 to 10. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord our God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer, please let us turn to the book of Matthew. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our God is good, mighty Savior. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. Mighty Savior, there is no other God else like him. He's the most high God. He's the most high God. I read in Jesus' name, the book of Matthew. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. I read in Jesus' name. And I said unto Nehemiah, all these things will I give a D. If thou wilt fall down and worship me. 10. Then I said Jesus unto Nehemiah, get thee hence, Satan. For now it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. And him alone shall thou serve. Praise Master Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ makes him to know 
that only, only Father God, you and I, including him, to worship Father God. Not to worship other God, not to bow down to another God, not to worship Satan, but Satan wants you and I to worship him. That is what is one. That is why he said he 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 calls a uh, what's he called? Uh, he he calls a uh, the the what's he what what he call? He calls a uh, confusion. He calls trouble. He calls trouble in the heaven because he wants the, all the angels to worship him. So he calls trouble to the angel to, to 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 in the heaven. That's why Father God cast him out from the heaven. And the, the, the rebelling, uh, the, the rebelling uh, angels that follow him, that side him, he wants that, he wants to, to, to overthrow Father God, his creator. He is the creator, he is the one God created. He wants to overthrow the, the, his own creator. And he gang up against him. And because of that, God cast him out. And all the all the the the, the, the what's it called the, the angels that rebel against that rebel with him against God. So the same is still seeking for you and I to, to worship him. If you don't have time to worship our Father Almighty God, you are busy for one thing and another, you don't have time for God, you are worshiping the enemy because he brought he, he brought many things to you for you to forget about why you are on this earth. Your duty, my duty on this earth is for you and I to worship our father. Because almighty God says in his word, Father Lord Jesus Christ said in his word, that Father God is seeking for, a, for who? Worshipper. He's seeking for worshipers. You and I, he created you and I to worship him. So if we don't have time for, for God to worship him right now, we are worshiping the enemy. Praise Master Jesus. So we should not let, <clears throat> we should not allow the enemy to bring the things in our life. Now we are focusing on those things. We think those things are more important than for you and I to sit at the feet of Jesus and worship him. We might be busy, busy, busy like Manta. We might be busy, busy, busy like Manta. We don't have time to sit at the feet of Jesus to worship him. The busyness that you are doing, you are worshiping the enemy. Father Lord Jesus Christ wants you and I to sit at his feet and hear from him. Because he speaks to you, he speaks to me when we are quiet and sit and at his feet, reading his word of praying. He will speak to you and I. He will direct you and I. When the enemy wants to bring something on, on your way, Father God will let you know before, beforehand. Hallelujah. You see, Lord Jesus Christ told him. Lord Jesus Christ told him it is written. Lord Jesus Christ told him it is written. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. Only the Lord thy God you shall worship and serve him. So we should not worship the enemy of our soul, the Satan. He's our enemy. Please, if you don't believe that is a, is a, is a, is a life, the enemy have kept you bound. Please cry to God to release you from the bondage of Satan. Because he's, a, he's here. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He wants you to bow down to worship him. So you and I must make up our mind that I will not bow down and worship my enemy. I will not bow down and worship the one that God created. I will worship my creator, that is God. He's him alone and we worship. He's him alone and we adore. He's him alone and we bow down and worship. No other God. No other God. He's my creator. Jesus is my creator. And we worship the Lord Almighty. Praise Master Jesus. Father God, yearn for a worship for what for a worshiper, his children that worship him in the spirit and in the truth. We should not allow the enemy to steal 
what belongs to Father God from us. We should not allow the enemy of the soul, the Satan, to see the worship we're supposed to worship. Our Father, Almighty God, we should not allow him to see that, 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 that the, the precious thing that, that belongs to our Father, Almighty God. We should not allow him to steal it from us. Let us give what belongs to our God, to our God. Worship him. Almighty God, serving him, almighty God, alone. Not serving the enemy of your soul, not serving the enemy of my soul. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. That is why he says, that is what he said. He said, I will lift, I will, I will uh, uh, lift up my, I will be lifted above. Above heaven, he will be worshipped. That is what he wants. We should not give it to him. We should reject him. We should resist him and tell him, no, I'm not, I will worship my God. I will wake up in the morning. I will seek my God first. I will, I will, uh, I will put my God first. First thing, and you, first thing for you and I to do every day is for you and I to seek our Father God first. To put him first. To put him first. First privilege, Jesus. Father God is our God. We should not go up belong to him. We should not give it to the enemy of our soul. Let us worship him in the spirit and in the truth. Please, if you are sinning against God, if you are doing the things that is not, is not pleasing to God, but you, you, you call yourself a child of God, please, the enemy is laughing at you. The enemy knows you are worshiping him even though you think you are a child of God. The moment you are disobeying Father God, the moment you stop what Father God created you to do for him, you are giving it to the enemy. And you think you are, you are serving God, you are living for God, whereas you are not living for God. The enemy of your soul, my soul, is laughing. It might be you are doing some, maybe you are doing something in the secret, nobody knows, but the enemy knows, laughing at you. Maybe you are choir master or choir mistress. You are coming at the altar singing, singing, and you praising God, but your hands are feeding, your heart are feeding. The enemy sees, the enemy knows he's laughing at that person. Hallelujah. The worship Almighty God is accepting is for you and you and I to live a holy life. When we are when we are praising Him, is a sweet savour smell to Him, to Almighty God, to Him. Not no no power can take no no power can stop that worship. Not to go to, not to reach the throne of God. When you are living, when you and I living a holy life. A righteous life. The moment we open our, our mouths to praise the Lord, that praise go to Father God directly. The enemy will not stop that praise. The enemy will not stop that. He will not take that praise because that praise carry fire. That praise carry fire. That no power of the enemy can stop that praise. Not to go to the throne room of God. But when you are not living in sin, and we are saying we are praising God, that praise is not going to the, the, the true room of God. The enemy is taking the praise immediately when you are giving that praise. You think you are giving it to God? No. Because the enemy knows the word of the Lord. So he will not let, he will not let that praise that you are going, that you are giving to reach, to reach the throne of God. Because as you are saying, he knows that prayer that God and done the word of the Lord said God doesn't answer the prayer of the, of the sinner. 
He will just seize it. From the second heaven, he will seize it. We will not let it go to the third heaven because he has an accusation against you. That accusation that is, is standing against is standing against that accusation, as the word of God says. The prayer, the prayer of a sinner, God, will, God doesn't answer the prayer of a sinner. The prayer of a sinner is an abomination to God. So you will not allow that when you are living in sin, I'm living in sin. The worship that's supposed to go to God, we are worshiping him. The enemy will not let that praise go because you are disobeying God. He will stop that praise not to reach the third heaven. But when you and I obey God, we are worshiping our God, we are praising him, and that praise carries fire. Fire that is shorter than any other fire. It will go directly to the throne of God. Father God, we enjoy that praise. That is why I created you and I to praise him. To praise him, to worship him. Praise Master Jesus. So what belongs to our father, we should not give it to the enemy of God. We should not give it to enemy of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We should not give what belongs to God to the enemy of God. Let us give what belongs to God to our God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord, his word. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Excellent, wonderful, great Father. Hallelujah. Father God created you and I to worship him. Let us worship him with all our hearts, our spirits, to praise him, truth and spirit. So spirit, spirit and truth. Uh, you see, you, you and I, we think why the enemy wants me to, why he wants me to worship him. I, I told you already by the help of the Holy Spirit, he wants to be worshiped. He wants to take the, 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 the seat of God. He wants to take the seat of God. That is his goal. That is his wish for him to be everyone to bow down, bow down and worship him. Send uh, Asalom. We are going to read about the Asalom. What Asalom wants? Asalom, the word of the Lord told you, Asalom, the son of King David. The word of the Lord says to you and I, the Asalom, God created Asalom, so beautiful. From the crown of Asalon to the feet of Asalon, beautiful. And everyone in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Israel, no one in Israel, you can compare the beauty of Asalon to that person. It's like a Satan. When God created, he created him so beautifully. Because of his beauty, now, he rose up, he said, now he wants to be the God for everybody to worship him. Same like Asalom, God created Asalom, no comma, no comma in Asalom's life from the head to the toe, beauty, beauty. The word of the Lord says that his hair, his hair, Beautiful. Asalon was full of the pride of his beauty. Asalon right now, using his beauty to buy the favor of the children of Israel. Because of his beauty, his pride now, that beauty is not anything. Being a son 
of the king is nothing to him. He wants to be the king that every one the Israel people will bow down and worship as alone. He was not satisfied being a son of the king. Wicked hearts. The same wicked heart that Satan had. That the God created him beautiful. He was not satisfied with that beauty. He was not satisfied with the duty Father God had placed him above all the angels. Gave him power to do what to do in the, in the, in the, in the God's kingdom by them. He was not pleased with it. Because of his beauty, he said, no, I has, I, I've got the power. I could do everything. Let me organize group that will join me, that I will, overcome, I will overthrow God. Little that he knows that the creator is still the creator. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The creator, the king of kings, the Lord of lords. He's the king of all kings. He's the Lord of all lords. Hallelujah. He cannot. The moment they were planning it, Father God knows what they were planning. And Father God casting that beauty that was missing to his shoulder was over high. The pride was over high. Father God brought that letter and cast him out of heaven. Now it's not beauty anymore. It's ugly demon. Him. And all the angels, Father God created them beautiful before. As God cast them out, they are ugly. Hallelujah. So Absalom wants to do the same thing to his own father. To his own father, he wants to tell the king. He wants to tell the king. He wants to tell that in the throne. Absalom did evil, evil in the sight of Israel and the Israel people because, because he has he had, he had bought their, their heart, their love. So they love Absalom more than the king, David. So, most all of them were in, in his sight. The Israel people that were in his sight, citing him to do evil, citing him to take uh, the throne so that they, their father, we cast the father out. Hallelujah. Cast the father out so he will be the king. Not just only cast the father out, not just only putting the father on the, on the, on the one side, he wants to take his life out. You see, wickedness, your own father, your own father, you want to kill him because you want to be worshipped, because you want to sit on his throne. Because you want to be worshipped, Pastor But I thank God for that. I thank God that be with his son, King David. All the plan of Absalom, God turned them, God useless every one of them. Praise Master Jesus. So we are going to read the word of the Lord. Let Almighty God speak to you and I through his word. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord, our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. Please, I would like us to turn to the book of uh, Second Samuel. Hallelujah. Let us turn to the book of Second Samuel. Second Samuel. Second Samuel. Let's turn to the book of Second Samuel. Verse 17, 1 to 4. Second Samuel chapter 17, verse 1 to 4. Hallelujah. 
We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. I read in Jesus' name. The book of 2 Samuel chapter 17, verse 1 to 4. I read in Jesus' name. Moreover, Ahitophel said unto Absalom, let a man now choose out to 12,000 men, and I will arise and pursue after David this night. And I will come upon him when he is weary and weak handed, and we will make him afraid. And all the people that are with him shall flee. And I will smite the King only for, and three. And I will bring back all the people unto the, the, the man whom thou seekest is as if all return. So that all the people shall be in peace. For and the same place as Salon were, and all the elders of Israel. Praise Master Jesus. The cancer that Ahitophel gave to Absalom against his father to, to go. And he said, I will go with, ten, with all the thousands of those men. I will go, I will go and smite the I will go and smite the king only. I will go and smite your father, King David. I will go and smite King David. Only nobody else I will kill. Look what happened. What the, re, the, 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 the response that Asalon gave in verse, <laughs> in verse four. He said, and at the same place, Asalon well. To go and kill his father, please. Asalom well. Why? He pleased Asalom well and the children of Israel. Why? Because Asalom wants everybody to worship him. Now he wants to be in the in the seat, the king, the, the throne of his father. Because he, ha he, he has bought the favor, the love of the children of Israel. Now the children of Israel, the, the children of Israel, you see, he said the elders, he said, and the, all the elders of Israel, he pleased them the, the cancer Ahitophel gave to Asalon. Asalon seeking for his own father to kill him. Being a son of the king, son, uh, yeah, being a, a king's son was not pleasing, was not satisfied to him. He wants to be the king that everybody will bow down and worship. That the children of Israel will bow down and worship. Praise Master Jesus. Asalom wants people to worship him. I don't know the position God has placed you. I don't know what you are doing in one, in one way and another in the house of God. But, you, but the place of Almighty God has placed you to, to, to serve, that place is not pleasing to you. You want somebody to say own, uh, own place. You want to be the GS. You want to be the one that holds that ministry. And be under your pastor. God put you there. You want to, you, it's not satisfied to you. You want to go ahead. Being ahead over your, over your leader. That God has placed to be your leader. Know that for you to be that leader, that, that servant of that, that, that servant of God, is not satisfied to you anymore. You want to be the leader, the, the, the owner that we be. You, you can be manipulating one way and another. 
You can be manipulating other people against the senior pastor because you want them to hate that senior pastor. So now they will come now. You, they are, you are buying favor from them. Now they will come now. They will love you than their pastor. And before you knew, one thing and another will happen. We say, ah, this person, uh, you rumors say, well, to take that pastor out. Uh, now you want them to be, you are the one that will be the head, the, 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 the GS, the pastor now. Like a salon, like the Satan. So, if Almighty God has placed you under your senior pastor, be there. Humble yourself, I should humble myself, be there. If God said, be there with this uh, person, this my servant, have this uh, my servant, like Elijah, I thank God for Elisha. Elisha was, not, Eli not that Elisha doesn't have something doing. Elisha was a rich man. Elisha was a rich man. But as God appointed Elisha to Elijah, what Elisha was doing was just to bring water to Elijah to wash hands. That was his job. That was his job. The job of Elisha to Elijah is to give water to his to his uh, to his master Elijah to wash her. So Elijah was Elisha was not seeking to overthrow Elisha, and Elisha was not seeking to overthrow Elijah. Are you a servant of God? God has placed you to, to be under one of his servants, your person. But you, you are doing one thing and manipulating people's mind, manipulating, bringing confusion. That meant now, confusion will come in that, in that congregation. Now they will choose you to be the one that will be their leader. You are under the Satan. Satan is using you. If you are one of them, confess that sin and repent from that sin. Before God will disgrace you, before God will cast you down, ask God for mercy. He's ready to forgive you. He's ready to forgive you and you will humble yourself before him. Tell, as he tell you, this I want you to do, you humble yourself to do it and he will elevate you in his own time. Not your own time that you want everybody to elevate you, you want to worship you. No, wait for the time of God to elevate you, the season. I should wait for the time of God for him to elevate me. Praise Master Jesus. So Asala, we come back to Asalom right now. So the, the, the what's it called? The Ahitophel that gave that cancer to the son of David, Asalom, and the saying, please, the son of David were to kill his father, to take his father out of this earth. So he will be the king. What you and I, we call that, not wickedness. Wickedness. But he, he has forgotten that he's his father. God is the one that anoints his father to be, be a king. No man, no woman. His father didn't seek to be a king is God that anoint him. Is God that choose have chosen? Is God that have chosen him? Not him that choosing himself. Is God that chosen him that 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 that, that told the uh, prophet Samuel go to Jesse, go to Jesse, go anoint the one that have chosen my king there. David was in the, in the bush, in the, in, the, in the forest, in the wilderness, taking the bush, taking care of the, the few 
sheep, as the brother says, of his father. Prophet Samuel went anoint King David because he's God that chose. It was not King David that chose himself, that anointed himself to be the future king of uh, Israel. It was God. He has forgotten it. The God that chose to cho the, the God that has that has uh, chosen chosen uh, David, his father, he's not sleeping, he's not slumber. He watched over his children. Absalom forgot that the eye of God, he, he rolled and watched everyone to and fro. He sees everything. He thought he would just, okay, let Father God will just fold his hand and let Absalom to come and take over. The kingdom that know him, that anoint Absalom. Know him that choose, choose, choose Absalom to be on that throne. Father God, disappoint them. Father God, disappoint them. Let them know. Told no man, no teacher, do my prophet no harm. Praise Master Jesus. David has a good heart. David has a good heart. The time David had the opportunity to slay, to kill Saul, King Saul, David refused to do it. He said, no, I will not put my hand on the anointed child of God, the first king in Israel, anointed child, I will not do it. God himself will do it, not me. David has a good heart, but his son has an evil heart. I thank God, God fought for his son, King David. So we are seeing reading. Let us turn to the, we are seeing the book of uh, Second, Second Samuel. Second, let us read the, the, the book of Second Samuel, chapter 18, 6 to 9. Hallelujah. I read in Jesus' name. The book of 2 Samuel, chapter 18, 6 to 9. I read in Jesus' name. So the people went out into the field against Israel, and the battle was in the wood of Ephraim. Where the people of Israel were slain before the servants of David. And there was and there was a day a greater slaughter that a day of 20,000 men. For, for, for the battle was then scattered over the field or over the face of all the country. And the world that devoured more people than, the, than that day than their sword devoured. Nine. And the Asalom met, and, uh, sorry, and the Asalom met the servants of David. And the Asalom rode upon the Amon. And the demon went and, uh, under the thick, thick uh, boughs of a, a great oak. And oak, oak, oak. And uh, in the head, caught a uh, hold of uh, the oak. And he was uh, taken up between the heaven and the earth. And the demon that was uh, under him went away. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God. So look, because Asalom wants to be the king, look how many men died. How many 20 said that that day, that that, bad, that that slaughter, the day they started, the slaughter was great. People died because he wants to be on the, on, on the, on the throne of his father, take his throne, the father. He said 20, 20,000 men. 
20,000 men were slain because of Absalom. Praise Master Jesus. And God for the battle. Go for the battle himself. Go for the battle. When, go for the battle himself. In the verse eight, in the, in the, in the verse eight, he said, "For the battle was a dead scatter over the face of all the country, and the wood devoured more people. And the wood who sent that wood to devour much people, the people of uh, Absalom, the side of Absalom, the wood devour. I said, what does it? He said, the wood devoured much people that the day than uh, the sword devoured, than the sword of the one that was in the, in the side of David. The one that was in the, 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 the army of David, the armies of David, their sword devoured, but the wood, father used the wood to de, to what? To the father used the wood to, to devour many people that follow a salon. Praise Master Jesus. That is why who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Father God fought for his son. With wood, he used it to fight for his son. 20,000, the word of that, 20,000 died. 20,000 men died. I'm the, 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 I'm so, in the one that is armed, the soldiers of Assam. He just brought his rebellion, his rebellion against father, uh, against his own father. The one that sighed him in his rebellion, they died. He died, they died. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord give you an eye, the grace not to be. Not to be like us, I mean, I don't give you an idea, grace. Not to be like us, I'm not to be a servant, true servant, like a David. That saw that the son that King Saul, he didn't kick his soul. Even though King Saul was pursuing him from wood, from a cave, from, from a wilderness, from, the, from bush to bush, he got the, 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 the chance to kill King Saul, he didn't. God place you where you, he wants you to grow. Let us be there. We should not be looking for me to be the head that everybody we worship, we worship. Wait for the time of God. I should wait for the time of God. He will elevate you, he will elevate me in his own time. We should not go ahead because we want to be worshipped by people. Then we disobey God. We say we are serving God. That is what enemy wants for you and I to disobey God. Because when, he knew, when you and I disobey God, we are worshipping him, the Satan, not God. Even though we carry the titles, but we are not doing what Father God has placed, uh, uh, no, uh, asked you and I to do, we are doing the opposite. You are worshiping the enemy of your soul. Please, let us turn to the book of uh, Zechariah, 13, chapter 13. Zechariah, chapter 13, 6 to Six to nine. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Savior, Savior, Savior. May the Lord help each and every one of us. 
Glory be to God on highest. I read in Jesus' name, the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 6, or verse 6 to 9. Hallelujah. I read in Jesus' name. And the one shall say unto him, What are these wounds in thy hands? Then, then he ne shall ne answer those, those, those with which I was wounded in the house of my friends. I work all sword against my shepherd and, and, and against the man that is my fellow, said the Lord of hosts. Smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered. And I will not turn my hand upon the little ones. And it shall come to the pass that in all the land, said the Lord, to the pass therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be lifted them therein. Verse 9, and I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refund them as a silver is refined, and will try them as a gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say it is my people, and they shall, and they shall say, the Lord is my God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. That is what uh, Asalom, that is what, uh, what is it called? The one that gave uh, cancer to Asalom, Ahitophel, who wants to do to David. He will smite the father. So the sheep, the shepherd, smite the shepherd, the sheep will be scattered. That is what he wants, but a God turn his, his wish to foolishness, his cancer to foolishness. Praise Master Jesus. God turn his cancer to foolishness. He wants that, that he wants that was in the shape to be scattered. But God, for God that placed that sh in that, the, the God that placed the shepherd there, He has a reason. He is the one that placed that shepherd there. You want to come and smite the shepherd so that the sheep will be scattered to be yours? Never, never. The enemy might be trying you right now. Maybe you are you are you are passing through according to the word of the Lord right now. Maybe you are passing through fire. Maybe something is happening to you now, right now. You are passing through fire. Please hold on to Jesus. He's taking you through. And it will come out, we purify, you will be purified through that fire. He's taking you through right now, passing you through right now. Don't complain. I should not complain. It's for your good, it's for my good. We just have to enjoy it. Maybe you're passing through something like a silver, taking as the word of the Lord says here, and then we refine it, refine them as a silver is refined, and they tried them as a gold is a tried. Maybe God is trying you, maybe God is refining you like the silver, like the gold, but when you come out with it. When you come out throughout, when you come out, come out for it, and God Almighty, as He says here, He said, as He says here, that when you and I come out by the help of the Holy Spirit, they shall they call on my name. Then you will call upon our Father Almighty God, and I will hear the dumb. I will say, It is my people. Father God will look at us. This is my people. This is my child. This is my son. This is my daughter. There is reward waiting for you, for you and I, passing through any situation we hold on to God. We know that God is our father. He will never leave us nor forsake us, no matter the toughness of that, of that situation, that trouble, that problem. He will never leave us. 
not forsake us. As he promised, he will do. Praise Master Jesus. He said that, and the day you and I shall, you and I will say, the Lord is my God. The Lord is my God. The Lord is our God. Let us worship our Father. Let us fall down before him. Fall down and worship him. We should not worship the enemy of our soul. No matter what he, well, no matter the things that he has brought to you, for you to forsake your God and worship him, we should reject him, reject his offer. In Jesus' name. May the Lord help you and I. In Jesus' name. We, 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 by the grace of God, we will not be like a salon. We are children of God. We will obey our Father and do what He said we do. The place that He has placed you and I, we will be there till the time of His elevation. He will elevate you. He will elevate me when it is time, in His own time. May the Lord bless you and I. This is the message of today. Please think about it. Don't we, you and I, we should not worship the enemy of our soul. The duty. You and I, Almighty God, create you and send you and I here is for you and I to worship him. May the Lord give you and I the grace to worship him in spirit and in truth. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father, I give you all the glory of the honor and the praise. I thank you for this message, oh Lord. Lord Almighty God, I plead the blood of just kind this message, oh Lord. Everyone, Lord, you that watch, one that follow this man that watch, oh Father, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ on them, Father. The one that we watch it later, and I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, speak to each and every one. So your word in our heart, help us to worship him in the spirit and in the truth in Jesus' name. Father, any wicked heart in our heart, oh Lord, to do what is not done pleasing to you. Father, take that wickedness out of our Father, mighty God, give us to do the grace to do your will in the name of Jesus. And what we please you, Father, Father, God, help us to do it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Ishes. So they let your will be done. Any power, any spirit, any personality, oh Lord, that want to attack any of your sons or daughters that will listen to this message than myself. Father, let your spirit raise the standard against those powers in the name of Jesus. Father, let your spirit raise the standard against them in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Now, Father, I give you all the glory, all the honor, the praise, oh Lord. I soak the message with your precious blood, of the Lamb of God, the vision with the precious blood of the Lamb of God. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. May the Lord bless you all. Shalom, shalom.